Hey everybody. So, as I said this morning, I was doing my CBT and it, I'm just sitting outside the uh, training place at the moment. You can see I've been wearing a helmet all day. Well, not all day. My um, hair's completely flat and it was a complete shock. But for those of you that don't know, I had a serious accident 30 years ago on the back of a moped when I was hit by a motorbike. And I've not ridden a bike since. And I've been on the back a couple of times and uh, I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified to the point of I wanted to cry. And I was astounded that that was the way it made me feel. So first of all, they put me on a geared bike because I was like, yeah, I want a geared bike. Yeah, I want to be a proper bike chick. Da, da, da. And I got on it. And uh, it was too big for me and I couldn't reach the floor properly. So I had to swap over legs in order to put the uh, the stand up. And as I did, when I leant over, by the time I got my foot on the floor, the bike was so leant over that I fell and it squashed me. And I hurt my bloody knee like a child. I felt like I'd grazed my knee. And, um, and it really hurt. And of course, that was the first five minutes. So I was quite upset by that. Anyway, I couldn't cope with it at all. So they put me on a uh, twist and go, which was fine. But even on that, I didn't realise how scared I was of falling off again and hurting myself again. I Bloody hell, I didn't go above 10 miles an hour. I was hardly going to be damaged, was I? But anyway, it's been a huge learning curve for me. Um, with Pretty quickly, the instructor said, Jude, I'm not going to take you out on the road today. I was like, I don't want to go. I do not want to go. So people that say, oh, you can't fail your CBT, you probably can't fail your CBT if you're not shit scared like I was. I know it's ridiculous and um, I've surprised myself by how, ter how terrified I actually was. But I, as soon as I didn't have to go out on the road, I carried on doing the manoeuvres and I did loads and I was so much better by the end of it. Still got a long way to go with learning, but I was so much better by the end of it and the, uh, the instructor was so supportive and he didn't make me feel like a middle-aged idiot, which I thought I might feel. And the other guys that were learning with me were just ace as well. And uh, so I'm going to give myself a day to regroup because I feel quite um, bothered right now and I'm very agitated right now. So I'm going to go home. I'm still just outside the centre. I'm going to go home, chill out, get me head together, probably cry, which is a bit weird. I'm, I'm feeling very emotional. And um, and then go, all right, Jude, try it again. You know, just because it doesn't work the first time does not mean that you give up. And it doesn't mean that you don't have another go. And I still want to do this. I do still want to do this. I just need to, the nerve to do it. Anyway, thank you for listening. This has been a bit of therapy for me. Uh, I hope you have an amazing weekend and I will see you soon. Cheers. Bye.